Good afternoon students, welcome back. Uh, in this video segment, we are going to now go to quadratic equations. Initially, we were doing quadratic trinomials and we have finished quadratic trinomials. Now, we shall go ahead and solve quadratic equations using the factoring method or I would call factorization method. Some people will say factoring. Factoring method is still the same thing. So this is actually not trinomials. These are now equations, quadratic equations. Now, what is kind of, what's the difference is, the difference is not uh, much. One is an expression, a polynomial function, and the other one is an equation. Okay, that, but they are both quadratic, meaning that the highest variable, highest degree of the variable is two. Highest degree of the variable is two. Now, if it is, if you have it like this, negative 20 plus j squared plus j. This is just the quadratic trinomial. It's an expression, okay? This is an expression. And this is the quadratic trinomial. Quadratic trinomial, which is also a polynomial function. Now, but when you now have it as negative 20 plus j squared plus j equal to zero, when you have the equal sign, Remember the video I did on linear equation and I explained what a linear equation is. So the same thing here, a quadratic equation. This is now an equation and it is now called a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation. Now you can call this, you can call this other one a quadratic expression. Yeah, you can do that, oh, you know. We say trinomial because it's a polynomial of three terms. So, we shall go ahead and start. Now, uh, for this video, before you continue with this video, it is better that you view the, these are the prerequisite videos. Factoring quadratic trinomials one, two, and three. It's better you do that before you go ahead with this video. So, let's, I make some modifications here. This is, these are the same questions. I did with trinomials, although I did not put number one. Number one goes to this video, but I didn't put it here. Um, this, uh, actually because I did it yesterday, uh, but this is the one I'm doing today. Uh, y y y I made some modifications, but when you, when you make it to an expression, it gives you back the initial one we have. So I just made modification to, put, to, make it an, uh, to make it an equation. So that's why you need to view these videos. All right, so let's go ahead with number two. We have a negative 20 plus j squared plus j equal to zero. You know, just like you have the general form of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. This is general form general form of a quadratic equation, a quad equation, you can say quad equation, quadratic equation, let me just write, quadratic equation. Okay, right, we, we made sure it looked like this, j squared plus j minus 20 equal to zero. Now, when we were solving quadratic trinomial, we did it this way, right? So when we solved this, when we got this, then let's put it equal to zero. When we did only this, we did only this, and it gave us what? J plus five and J minus four equal to zero. So we're, not gonna, we're going to continue from this. So you, you, you solve it the same principle that you use to solve quadratic trinomial it's the same way, the same principle that you use, that you should use in solving quadratic equations. So when we did this, we got this. And I wrote my answers here. So when we now reach here, right? After 
breaking it into factors, that is factoring, breaking into factors. We will now what we we will now apply what we call the zero product property. Zero product property. We now apply the zero product property. Apply. Now what is the zero product property? Zero product, you know what a product is. Product is the result you get after multiplication. Right? That's product. Now, what do we mean by zero product? When you multiply more two or more things, when you multiply things, two things, or three things, or four things, to give you zero, it gives you a zero product. That means that one of them must be zero. Now, zero is the only number that when multiplied by any other number will still give zero. Zero times five is zero. Zero times negative five is zero. Zero times some down for peace is zero. Zero times Mr. C is zero. Zero times United States of America is zero. Zero times Nigeria is zero. So when you multiply um, any number and it gives zero, when you multiply two numbers, I mean two numbers or three numbers or four numbers, and it gives zero, that means one of them must be zero. That is what we call the zero product property. Like, example, if we have A times B to give zero, then A must be zero or B must be zero. One of them must be zero. If we have A times B times C to give zero, that means that A must be zero or B must be zero or C must be zero. One of them, at least, what I mean by at least, greater than or equal to, at least one of them must be zero. It could be two of them, it could be all of them, but one of them must be zero. So the same thing here, when we have A plus B times C plus D to give zero, then the same thing, this means times, this parenthesis here means times. So that means that either A plus B equal to zero or C plus D equal to zero. Because here, this, this means times. So that is the same principle that applies here. So here you have J plus 5 times, you have J plus 5 times J minus 4 to give you zero. That means that J plus 5 is equal to zero or J minus 4 is equal to zero. That is what it means. So, if j plus 5 is equal to 0, j will be negative 5. You know how we got negative 5? 0 minus 5, and j will be negative 5. Or, if j minus 4 is equal to 0, j will be 0 plus 4, and j will be 4. So, j will be negative 5 or 4. That is the two solutions we have here. Please, this is very important. That, that reminds me. It would be good you also view my videos on linear equations before you continue so that you know what, how we got negative 5 and 4. So the next thing for us to do is to check. That's the next thing for us is to check. So we go ahead and check this, right? We go ahead and check. So when we check, we check from the main equation. You write the main equation first. Negative 20 plus j squared plus j equal to zero. Please, do not check from the modified equation. Always check from the main equation. Why? Because the modified, if you check from the modified equation and it's correct, then that modified equation might even be wrong. So you want to always check from the main equation. So we write our left-hand side, and we write our right-hand side. Now. Whatever we get on the left-hand side must be equal to whatever we get on the right-hand side. It should be true for j to be negative 5, and it should be true for j to be 4. It should. So this will be, if j is, let's say this j is negative 5 here. j to be negative 5 here. So this will be negative 20 plus negative 5 all squared plus negative 5. And our right-hand side will be 0. So this will be negative 20 plus 25 
minus 5. Plus minus is minus. So this is 5 minus 5, and that's 0. 0, 0. Then the next thing we do is to check for j equal to 4. You have to check it for both of them. You have to check it for both of them. So we now check out this left-hand side, right-hand side. Right-hand side is 0. Left-hand side will be negative 20. Let's check for j equal to 4. Negative 20 plus uh, 4 squared plus 4. Right? So this is negative 20 plus 16 plus 4. And that is negative 4 plus 4. And that's 0. 0, 0. And then you can dance. Right? And that is, that is just it. You solve it and you check. So we are done with number 2. Now, number 3 is prime. Now, number 3, what does this say? Because it's prime, remember we did it and it's prime. So that means that uh, that means that we can solve, we can still solve number three, but it's not going to be using the factorization method. It will not. We can use completing the square method, or we can use the general formula method, which I would do in subsequent videos. Yeah, but for this video we can solve it by a factorization method. So we just leave it. It will be in subsequent videos that we are going to do it. All right, number four, and then uh, I think I will continue with another video. Now, the, number four gives us 20x squared plus 11x equal to three. Now I have to, when you have it like this, you always want to put it in the general form, like we do you always want to put it in the general form so that this will be zero. That's what you always want to do. So this is now 20x squared plus 11x minus 3 equal to zero. And if you look at the, the previous videos, this was what we got here. So, and when we factorize this, it gave us a 5x minus 1 and then 4x plus 3 equal to zero. So you now use the zero product property, right? You apply, apply the zero product property, you can write it. So you see that 5x minus 1 equal to 0 or 4x plus 3 equal to 0. So this is 5x minus 1 equal to 0. 5x is equal to 1. x would be 1 over 5. Or 4x plus 3 is equal to 0, 4x will be negative 3, and x will be negative 3 over 4. Right? Now let's check. And as you check, it should be true for both of them. It should be true for both 1 over 5, 1 fifth, and also for uh, negative 3 over 4. So when we check, we write the main equation. First of all, let's write check. Then we write 20x squared plus 11x plus 3 equal to 3. This is the main equation. Then we write the left hand side and then the right hand side. Left hand side is 20x squared plus 11x. Right hand side is 3. So let's do that for x for x equal to 1 over 5 and see. So this is 20 times 1 over 5 all squared plus 11 times 1 over 5. So this will be 20 times 1 over 25 plus 11 over 5. So this is 20 over 25 plus 11 over 5. And that is what? Um, 20 plus 11. Uh, now, let's find the LCD. This is 11 over 5, right? So this means what? If you find the LCD, if I come over here and, and continue, 20 over 25 plus 55 over 25. And that will now give me what? 75 over 25. And that is 3. 3 on the left, 3 on the right. So it's good for 1 over 5. The next thing we now do is for negative 3 over 4. And uh, you probably will need to pause it and write. You probably will need to pause it and write while I use this area to check. So. For the next one, negative 3 over 4, left hand side, right hand side, 
and our x will be negative 3 over 4. This will be 20 times negative 3 over 4, all squared, plus 11 times negative 3 over 4. Then this will be 3. Okay, this will be 20 times 9 over 16. Right? Because negative times negative is positive. Then plus negative 33 over 4. So this is a 180 over 16 minus 33 over 4. So this is 180 over 16. You do fractions. Minus 4 times 3 is 12. 2 carry 1. 4 times 3 12 plus 1 13. Over 4 times 4 16. And 10 minus 2 is 8. 7 minus 3 is 4. 48 over 16 gives you 3. 3 here, 3 here. And you can dance. Okay? So please, take your time. Now, if you're confused with this, please, you need to go and learn fractions. Yeah, I did some videos on fractions as well. Alright? Thank you so much for listening. And uh, in the next video, I will finish the other three. Thank you so much for listening. And you have a great day.